What's up everyone, Willie Apple here, and today Apple has released iOS 16.3.1 for iOS, CBOS, and HomePod OS, Mac OS 13.2.1 for the Mac, and Watch OS 9.3.1 for the Watch. In this video, I'll be explaining everything that is new in all of those softwares. Let's start out with iOS. We had a lot of issues fixed, so the first thing was iCloud settings may be unresponsive. I actually had this issue when I was trying to reset my iPad, and I could couldn't back up my data. My data was like gone from the iPad. I couldn't even get an older backup as well. So, and we also have Siri requests for Find My would not work. That could be annoying for some. And we also have crash detection optimizations for the iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Pro models. Now, if we were to take a look at the crash detection, the crash detection was meant for skiers. So before it was roller coasters that were causing it, and now skiers were affecting the crash detection since it has like the same level of force. But that has been fixed in iOS 16.3.1. Now we still have the weird home app issue for iOS 16.3, but that probably isn't going to be fixed until iOS 16.4 to be honest, since the older home architecture is pretty bad. The new one ended up somehow being worse, which I'm actually still on unfortunately, since Apple did not like let anyone downgrade. I've been having issues with the home architecture, a lot of other people have been having issues, so Apple has just stopped the upgrades from happening. Now let's talk about Mac OS. So if we were to take a look at our chart, I made this by the way, Apple was very vague about the change log, but we have a couple of fixes for the Mac. So the first issue was for Pioneer CD, DVD, and Blu-ray drive, where it would not be able to be read by the system, like not at all, not in Finder, not in the DVD player. It was just all gone, nowhere to be found. And this one I confirmed myself, which was not that talk much talked about as the DVD issue. This issue had to do with your login items right here. So if you had something enabled, it could just keep popping up right here saying that it enabled itself even though it did not. That has been fixed with macOS 13.2.1 and I did confirm it myself by downloading Microsoft Edge which was an app that was affected by this bug and Spotify I had this issue and it's no longer happening so that's just proof that this issue has been completely fixed. Oh and if you download Microsoft Edge for the first time, five pop-ups will sh still show up. That's because it has five different login items. You could just get rid of all these things that run in the background and you're all good to go. You necessarily don't need them. It's just that Microsoft really wants you to keep your edge up to date, unlike Google Chrome. Now, unfortunately for the Mac, we still have these three issues where SMB file servers would not work at all. QuickTime player does not record the first couple of seconds. You use the microphone and alarms do not play. If your display is asleep for a long period of time, this also applies to timers as well. But we do have a workaround for this that's actually pretty good, but can use a lot more energy. All right, next Next up, we have watchOS. The release notes for watchOS were also very big, but we do have a pretty big fix for runners. If we were on a track, which I'm currently not at a track, and if you started an outdoor run, you, you would get a pop-up saying that you were at a track and it would not show in meters, it would not lap at all. It would just treat itself like a normal outdoor run. This was very annoying. It is now fixed in watchOS 9.3.1. We are currently not sure what we have with the Apple TV quite yet. It's that also got an update, but we know what we got with the HomePod update. I'm assuming since tvOS and HomePod OS are the same, they just decided to just release it because why not? Or that they are, have it set up so HomePod OS has an update, the Apple TV will also have an update and vice versa since that's how the HomePod and Apple TV work. But we did get a couple of updates with the HomePod. It's not the re-release of the home architecture. It actually has something to do with an issue I've been having a lot. And it is HomeKit accessories would not be able to turn off by request. It worked 80% of the time for me, but it doesn't. But now it's completely fixed and pretty good. Now we did get a couple of security updates, tvOS and watchOS. We do not have any security updates for those. But Apple also did release some a uh, standalone Safari 16.3.1 for macOS 11 and macOS 12. It has the same WebKit vulnerability that we got in macOS 13.2.1. This kernel vulnerability is also inside uh, iOS, so it's, this might be a good reason to update. Now, the shortcut is only available for macOS, but this WebKit vulnerability is the main reason why you might want to update. And we also got this with the Safari update right here. So using Safari or any browser on iOS, but only Safari on macOS, 
OS, it will be able to send arbitrary code that you might not want running in the background. Now, I'm pretty sure this shortcut vulnerability might still be in Mac OS 12 along with this kernel vulnerability, but this time for both Mac OS 11 and 12. Updating to Mac OS 13 might be a good idea. There could be a possibility that Mac OS 11 and 12 were not affected by any of these. Definitely not Mac OS 11 for shortcuts since shortcuts did not exist in Mac OS 11. Now, what can we expect next from Apple? So if I were to open up my calendar right here, you'll notice that tomorrow's Valentine's Day. And I think Apple is finally gonna be sweet enough to give us iOS 16.4, Mac OS 13.3 beta one. Those should be pretty should be big updates. We're not sure what we're gonna get on the Mac OS side of things, but hopefully we get something significant. We know for sure that we're gonna get some brand new emojis, specifically the pink heart emoji is coming. And that's all I basically have to say. Now I also did run some geek gun scores. I'm gonna show them up on the screen and compare them to the older versions of those softwares. And also, thanks for watching. Come like, subscribe, share us with your friend, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!